What's up, humanity? This is Giovanni DeVicente with Rio. How what's, you doing? What's up, brother? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. The comedian in action. Tell them about yourself if they don't know. Rio? Uh, let's see. What can I tell y'all? I am the funniest dude right now here, standing right here. I'm the funniest dude, hands down. No one else is funnier than me right now. Uh, maybe Giovanni is funnier than me. No, but nobody else at this moment. Uh, I'm from Wisconsin, uh, living in Stockton right now. Been in Stockton for about 11 months. Haven't got shot yet. Uh, things have been smooth, man. I don't think people can see me. I think is what it is. They, I'm too dark for them to shoot. So, no. But. <laughs> for sure. All right. So, we established you're in Stockton. How did you get here from Wisconsin? I know you're from Wisconsin. So, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, basically what I did uh, to get out here is my dad lives out in Stockton, and he's probably been out there for 20 years at least. Um, so what I did is I actually came out to visit him, I think a couple months prior to me come, moving out here uh, to do a festival in San Francisco, um, just to kind of check the area out. And then I went back to Wisconsin, and then I pretty much booked a tour to come out here, and then uh, I've been out here ever since, a uh, comedy tour. And then I just been kind of hanging and trying to put stuff together, working. Uh, that's about it, man. So, like, for anybody who hasn't visited uh, Wisconsin, can you tell us a little about this state? Uh, yeah, Wisconsin. Uh, what would I say? It's a drinking state. <laughs> they get they drink a lot. We drink a lot there. A lot of cheese. Um, the Packers. Uh, what else can I tell you? The Badgers. That's about it, man. Uh, <laughs> That's it? I mean, uh, I'm trying to think if we got anybody, what we known for in Wisconsin. Uh, the 70s show. The, yeah, the 70s show. <laughs> uh, I think the 70s. <laughs> Bonnie Burr, I think that's the biggest guy right now going out of Wisconsin. I think he won a couple Grammys, did some stuff with uh, Kanye. Uh, besides that, yeah, there's really nothing else there. I mean, as far as arts-wise, it's okay. You know, it, it's it's all right. Um a lot of white people. No, I, <laughs> but we're there too. You know, I just always tell you if you throw yeah, the, if, you, if you throw the right barbecue and have the right music group, you'll be like, I didn't know this many black people was here. We'll come out the woodwork. You know what I mean? <laughs> you just gotta bring us out. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, um, you mentioned the comedy tour. Tell us about you know being an entrepreneur in that mold and really just doing it yourself, booking and going out to um, how many states did you go out to? Let's see, the last tour I did like six states. Um, it was like 30 days, 30 shows, and I pretty much set it all up myself. Uh, I had a destination, which I think was like Washington. I had booked uh, a couple casino gigs, and then I was like, well, let's see if I can kind of put some other stuff together and end up putting 30 shows in a row together. Uh, and uh, it was up and down, roller coaster, but it was fun, man. I learned a lot from doing that many shows in that many days. Uh, nothing, some places didn't have sound, slept in my car sometimes, actually that was mostly because I wanted to because I'm cheap, <laughs> you know what I mean, that wasn't really, uh, I had the money to get a hotel, but I do a lot of night driving and I hate uh, checking into a hotel at midnight when I'm got to get up and get out by 10, so I do rest areas a lot, um, yeah, that's the gist of it, man. Yeah. So what is your ultimate goal in uh, comedy? You know, uh, I'm pretty much almost i'm doing it to a certain extent when i say that i mean my ultimate goal was to be booked like as much as i can and to kind of make a living off of it of comedy like a regular nine to five which i do treat it that way um and i guess my ultimate goal which kind of wraps up with me moving out here to california is to try to figure out if i can get some kind of acting you know what i mean i love to do some acting like uh i could be an extra i like to do some commercial stuff and uh some sketch stuff um just to, something to get my name out there a little more, you know what I mean? To get connected with the people even more. Um, but pretty much stand-up will be my, I'll be doing that until I can't walk no more. And when I can't walk, I'll be in a wheelchair doing it. <laughs> or I'll have a cane, man. I'll be doing that forever. Because that's that's the first love. That's the, it's the instant gratification. It's That's the one thing that I don't think they can change. Uh, they can't censor you, even though somewhat it, people have been getting some backlash with some stuff but for the most part it's definitely the truest art form that's still there you know what I mean that people still come out to see it um yeah that's what I like about it yeah and um you mentioned like today's times uh just now 
Like, how does it compare to, like, you know, how everybody is sensitive now because of social media, people get bullied, and uh, how does that affect your craft if, you know, you don't want to offend somebody, you know, in today's climate where everybody's so, like, politically correct? You know a lot, I... It's diff- I guess it's all in how you... You have to kind of be aware of what you're saying and how you're saying it, if that makes sense. Um, like, I'm trying to think of... I think Tracy Morgan had got in trouble a, uh, a couple years ago. I think Daniel Tosh got in trouble about... And when I think Tracy Morgan was talking about if his kid was gay, he would <laughs> do this and do that. And people don't understand. It's like he was just kind of making light of it. You yeah. know what I mean? He wasn't saying he would really do that. It was just, you know, hey, I... I <laughs> I don't know. Um, and as far as how I touch those subjects, like, you know, I, I, mm, how do I say it? I just say there's nothing off limits if it's funny and you got to make it funny. You know what I mean? Funny and not in a way where, and you're not trying to be degrading, but you know, it's just your point of view with it. Yeah. Um, and I just think people are so uptight and what you can say and politically correct. And it's like, with all the shit that's going on nowadays, man. You got to let stuff go. Everybody just got to be loose. Let it go. Be chill. This is California. You got to be chill. Smoke some weed. Damn. You know, don't impede on the First First Amendment. Amendment, You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. So, uh, who are your comedic influences? Um, Man, it's, I would say if I was thinking of as far as today, uh, this era, I would say Dave Chappelle Chappelle. is freaking awesome. Um, You can't, like, deny Kevin Hart with a far how he took the... Because I feel like he's got the best of both worlds where he's took in the social media platform, which Dane Cook was the original guy when MySpace was big that did that and got big. And uh, Kevin Hart has took that whole platform and made it. Man, he's he's doing it big with that. He's definitely got a big following from doing that. Um, but, yeah, Kevin Hart, Bill Burr, I think is hilarious. Um, and then if you look like the old school guys, I mean, obviously you look at Richard Pryor, George Carlin. Uh, Lenny Bruce, who, I mean, you're talking about a dude that went to jail for half the shit he said. I couldn't imagine, <laughs> I mean, going to jail for saying some stuff yeah. in the middle of your show, you know? Uh, Bill Hicks, there's so many that, that were good too, man. Um, yeah, I can keep going. <laughs> so, um, what's the next big move for you? Uh, I, I think the next move um, is... Which actually is weird. Last night I started trying to pull out writing a script. I've been thinking about doing that for the last five years as far as trying to put something together. Because I was uh, listening to an interview with um, Dion Cole. And he was, uh, if you don't know who he is, he was a writer for Conan. And uh, he was talking about what you got to do these days. Because it's like everybody goes to Hollywood because that's the place to be. But sometimes you kind of got to write your own self into stuff because like... Sometimes they don't see what you can do. They might try to pigeonhole you. So now is the time with the social media, you can build your own following. You can create your own thing. You can create a webisode. I mean, people are getting picked off off the Internet. Like, that seems like every day, man, there's a new person. Always opportunities. That's always opportunities, you know. So I guess my next big thing for me is, I mean, I would like to get, like, like I said, go back to, like, do some TV, some commercials, some extra. I just like to try to get into some TV stuff. I started signing up for a casting thing, Sacramento Casting. Uh, I like to go down to L.A. to try to just get a feel feel for what's going on down there. You know what I mean? Just kind of being a, a, a roach on the wall, if you will. Just kind of seeing the moves and what people are doing. Paying attention, observing. Because I think the one thing you don't want to do is get seen too early. You know what I mean? You can get seen too early and it'll take you a long time to get seen again. So rather just kind of look and see what's going on and keep building what you got going on. And then slide in there. Cool. So, uh... Is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh, you know what, man? I don't really... Yeah. I don't have much else really going on to talk about, man. That's pretty much a wrap for me. Well, uh, I had uh, actually one more question. What would you consider, like, your genre of comedy? Like... Uh, that's a good question. I would, uh... I always tell people, like, I like... As far as people, like, what do you, what do you like to perform for? Well, I like to perform for people. <laughs> um... And I would definitely say I'm definitely more of a mainstream type of comedian, uh, meaning that I like to do all crowds instead of specific this and that. I like to kind of do a mainstream crowd. That's, that's where the crowd. money's at. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Yes. Um, and I would say if I had to describe my style, like, I, 
I do different types of comedy. Like, I have, like, one-liners. I might have a little story in there. I might have a joke that's not real. I mean, I kind of like to go dirty, clean, smart. I like to do all type of stuff, like, in an hour. Like, I just go all across the board with it, you know? And that's what I love about comedy. Even music and, and the arts, man. There's really no traditional way to do it. You just have to find your way and do what you do and be good at it. Well, you heard it first, Giovanni DeVicente. You are on Giovanni's YouTube channel. You got any more, uh, any tags or anything you want to plug? Uh, nah, man. Uh, I think, if anything, you can check me out, people, at realhillmancomedy.com, which is R I O H I L L M A N comedy.com. Uh, YouTube, Real Hillman, and Twitter, Real Hillman as well. Uh, yeah, that's about it, people. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Peace. Inhale, exhale, breathe Don't be 